don't think it's a stretch to say that House of X really changed everything about the X-Men. And so, in, in many ways, even though we are telling a story about the classic New Mutants getting back together, the status of mutant kind is so different. The creative team on the book, Jonathan Hickman, Ed Brisson, Rod Rice. They are completely channeling everything that's gone before in X-Men lore concerning these new mutants, but adding new layers given what Jonathan has done in Powers of Ten and House of X. We start issue one with just sort of giving everyone the lay of the land, what, uh, what life on Krakoa looks like, what it looks like for the new mutants, and we almost immediately send them off on a space adventure. Roberto da Costa, Sunspot, the leader, and Danny Moonstar decide to take the team on a mission that puts them in a precarious position with the Starjammers and with the Shi'ar that nobody expected them to be in. We're mixing up the team a little bit, so it's not just necessarily classic New Mutants. We're going to be mixing them with some other Generation X characters and some other younger mutants. Rod Rice is doing the art. It is absolutely gorgeous. It has echoes of the classic Bill Sienkiewicz art, but it's doing its own thing and it's really beautiful. It's a really fun book. You know, the X-Men books tend to be pretty dark. This one is actually quite fun. This book is bonkers, and everyone involved is having a great time. It just makes for this magnificent mutant manifesto that you cannot miss.